In this video, we will discuss how to update or edit a lookup table. First, what is a lookup table? A lookup table is a pick list of client names, matter names, or document types that you can use to profile documents and to create workspaces. So in this example, we'll discuss how to add a new client to our client list. So we can see our existing client list in the lookup dialog here. So we want to add a new client to this list. Now, depending on how your firm has their NetDocuments account set up, it could be accounts, it could be entities or customers. In this example, we'll just use a typical law firm configuration. So to add a new client, we'll go log in as a repository administrator. And we'll go up to our admin link here at the top right-hand corner. And we'll go to the third link, which is define profile attributes. And this will show us the list of our custom profile attributes that we have configured. Now, if you don't have con configured attributes yet, we have a help site and a help video that will show you how to do that. In this case, we have just a typical law firm configuration. We have client, we have matter, document type, and author. So we want to highlight our client attribute and click edit to, e to add a new client. And we'll see our existing client list here. Notice this is the same list we were looking at earlier. And we want to add a new cl client to this list. So we'll go up to the top left, click Add Client, and we'll continue with the numbering system that we have. Best practice to maintain your firm's naming convention. And we'll enter our new client name. These other fields are not relevant right now. We can um, view our help site for in more information about that. And we'll click Add, and we'll see now our new client in this list. Now, some firms may have this set up differently. In this case, we have both a key column and a description column. A description is typically the name, and the key is typically a number. Now, you may have only a key column, in which case the key will be the name. And so now we have our new client. We want to add a new matter for that client. We'll highlight our matter attribute and click Edit. And we'll go up here to the top left to add a new matter. And we'll find our new client key that we've added. And we'll enter a matter key for this new matter, as well as the matter name. And we'll click Add. And now you'll see here our new matter client name here. Now, if, suppose you wanted to rename one of these. If you misspelled it, maybe your, your client or the matter name changes. You can simply double click a row. In this case, we want to correct the spelling here. The description column notice can be changed at any time, but the key columns need to be unique, and they cannot be changed. So we'll click Save, and that is now updated. So now we have our new uh, client and matter in our lookup table. We'll close that, and we'll continue. We'll go back to our home page. And now we'll see our new client name in this list. It can also be searched by up here at the top. Um, and we'll select the client name, and we'll also select the new matter name. Once we do that, it will create the new workspace for us, and you'll be able to see all the documents and folders related to that particular client matter here. And so that is how to update a, or edit a lookup table.